Okay, so here we are with another punch out repair. This is X77X's punch out on the forms. Uh, I'm not going to go into the detail of the repair. Uh, I, I believe he was having some opponent sprite problems that's been resolved. Uh, but one thing I did want to go over a little bit is just basically how I, I repair, or how I set up, I should say, um, punch outs for, for repair on my rig here. Um, for those of you who, who've seen the PCBs before, you know they have a set of ribbon cables on one side, and then on the other side, they have these black uh, daisy chain cables. And because there's a set of cables on both sides of the PCB, it makes it impossible to unfold these out on a bench and work on them all at the same time. So the first thing I did was create a separate set of uh, daisy chain cables that are rather long, as you can see. Um, and that allows me to basically unfold this whole uh, PCB stack uh, flat on my bench <clears throat> and allows me to debug different sections of the, of the PCB stack at the same time. Um, the other thing I did was um, create a punch out to Donkey Kong ad uh, adapter here. That's this, this guy right here. And the reason I did that is because I already have this Donkey Kong to Jam adapter. And like uh, Donkey Kong and like many of the other Nintendo board sets, um, the, the uh, video that gets sent out of punch out is inverted. And um, there's also no uh, onboard sound amplifier. So this um, Donkey Kong to Jim adapter already has the circuits to invert the video as well as amplify the sound. So rather than create something equivalent like this for a punch out, um, I just decided to utilize the one I already had and create a small little uh, adapter to, uh, to utilize this guy. Um, and it works great, as, you, as you'll see in a second. Um, the other thing, um, you guys who own Punch-Out know that it has uh, two sets of monitors. So basically two sets of video signals that come out of this guy. Um, and I guess you, you could either hardwire it for either the top uh, or, the, or the bottom display. Um, but what I did is I just threw on the switch here. It's basically a three-pole double-throw switch, three-pole for RGMB. And uh, that way I can either choose to use or choose to debug, rather, either the, the top display or the bottom display. So as you can see, I get this guy coined up here, which is basically, I think I'm displaying the bottom display. And if I flick the switch, you can see what's going on the top display. It makes it pretty nice. I can flick back and forth. Um, the other switch I put in here, which I, I didn't have time to mount uh, before this video, is the audio. Uh, because there's two audio channels that come out of uh, Punch-Out. One is for um, the sound effects and the background cheer and that kind of stuff. Um, and the music. And then the other one is for um, the announcer, basically the, the speech synthesis that goes on. So um, basically I just had uh, the, the two audio channels get sent into this one switch and then the single one that gets sent on to, the, to Donkey Kong uh, adapter to decide which one to amplify. So I think actually it's probably uh, tied to the speech here. If I flick this, I don't know if you can hear that, but that's basically the background music going on. So if I coin this up here and we let this guy time out, um, we should be able to hear the announcer if I, if I flick this switch in time. So I'll flick it over to his speech. Now if I leave it on this, you, know, you, can't, you can't hear any of the music or anything. You can hear him saying, stick and move, stick and move, and all that kind of stuff. But, and you can see, you know, I still can see both displays. If I flick the audio switch, you can hear, I don't know if you can hear, it's kind of, it's kind of uh, faint, but the audio cheering and all that kind of stuff. So, so that's what I do. Um, it allows me to basically just open this whole stack up, lay it out, um, look at all the displays and check out all the sounds and all that good stuff. So hopefully you found that interesting and uh, talk to you later.